What's up guys? Wilder Wednesday coming at you with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today we're going to take a look at my Iron Twins team. So as you can see, I have Mithrala, I have Godseeker Aniri, I have Marishka, Geo, and Stagnite. I'm going to go ahead and run it, show you how it works, and I'll show you the details when the run is over. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I really hate making speed uh, compositions where I have to tune the speed. So I really like just having my champions go pretty fast and work as a team. A lot of people will use uh, either like a Maneater unkillable team or Demitha or they'll use block damage with a helicath or a rosh card or something like that and i really didn't want to have to take away my helicath from my clan boss team so i'm just running these champs pretty much as is they've all been built for something different except for this geomancer because i happen to have three geomancers so i have one uh, built for something else and I got one built for this really they're both useful for my Hydra team but this Geomancer is specifically built with high accuracy so that I can take down the Iron Twin dungeon at 15 uh, the one thing you'll note is that Mithrala is in my lead because it's really hard to get the accuracy that you need to run this at 15. So I needed that little bit of accuracy boost from Mithrala. That's why she's irreplaceable for my team because she provides that extra bit of health and defense. And she also gives me the accuracy that I need for Geo to place the debuffs that kill the Iron Twins. So you can see we're a minute 43 into the run and we're about halfway into it, but really the damage really starts to ramp up toward the end. So the deal with this team is I try to keep them alive as long as possible. But eventually they do tend to die. Uh, but my Godseeker and my Marishka are really good at bringing each other back to life as well as the rest of the team. So I try to keep them uh, as alive and healthy and strong as much as possible. We've got lots of buffs protecting. We've got the shield. we got the strength in. we got all that. And then we have Stagnite putting in the decreased speed. That's pretty much what he's there for is decreased attack, decreased speed. Uh, we also have a decreased accuracy. So our team is pretty well protected. Uh, the team has gotten better over time as I've been able to build my champions a little bit better. At first, I was having trouble getting my Geomancer as strong as he needed to be and as fast as he needed to be and as accurate as he needed to be. But as you can see, we've got a couple of deaths, but that won't last for long. We brought one back already. Okay, see, now this is the part where things can get a little bit dicey because these two champs are a lot stronger a lot harder to take down and when they die okay now what we really need is for Godseeker to really be able to bring back Marishka there we go okay so now we will be fine over time I just need enough time to bring back my Geomancer as well. And for some of the affinities, this is a lot easier than others. Like last or yesterday, I was running uh, against Blue Affinity M15. And the runs were really more like three minutes, I think. Three minutes, three and a half minutes. As you can see, this takes a little bit more time. We really need Geo to get his burns off, get him protected. And so this takes a little bit longer than I would like. But usually I just, I run it on auto 
all six keys. I walk away for like 20 or 30 minutes and usually it's done by then. We're getting close to the end here. There we go. Like I said, at the end, the damage is a lot faster. Now, as you probably know, double rewards on void. So it's most important that you run this on void more than any other day. But I try to run it every day because I'm not buying soul stones, but they're incredibly important. And the only other way to get them typically is from Hydra or tournaments. And that's a pretty good way to get it, but this is the best way to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, well, first of all, I'll show you how it's set up. This is the team set up. I'll go to Iron Twins. And there's nothing special there. Godseeker Aniri. Most important thing is... Her revival on death. Marishka. Really, she's just in there for her passive and to make the team as tanky as possible with the shield and the strength. Now, if you don't have Marishka, if you don't have Godseeker, throw in Revive on Death. Whoever you have that has Revive on Death. That's who you're going to want. Or somebody who's just really tanky and is a reviver. Maybe someone like a Duchess if you happen to be so lucky. Um, and then Geo, of course. The most important thing is the HP burn and the weaken. And Stagnite. We just want the decreased defense, decreased attack. We want the decreased speed. It's all good. Those are my setups. I will go ahead and show you my champion builds. Like I said, only Geomancer is built specific for uh, this particular dungeon. Marishka, currently, I have built kind of randomly, to be honest. Uh, I've got her in two pieces of protection, two pieces of resilience, and two pieces of perception. I just wanted her tanky. So there are much better builds. Uh, if I could, I'd probably have her just in stone skin or just in bolster. But that's what I have. Uh, so she's got only 90,000 HP, which is good, but could be better. 3,000 defense, good, could be better. But she's pretty fast at 243. And we don't really care about the crit rate and crit damage. They just happen to be there. I've got her pretty high resist. She doesn't really need accuracy. Uh, we got Mithrala. I've got her built with just a ton of perception. HP pretty good at 59. She's pretty tanky. I've got her defense at 4100. Her speed is at 264. And we again don't care about crit rate or crit damage from her. And we just have a ton of accuracy of course for her. Stagnite. I actually have him in a shield set. Guess why? Just to protect the team as much as possible. HP is pretty good at 60,000. The speed, honestly, the speed could be a little bit better, but that's what I have him in. And then I've just got the accuracy at 318. And let's see. Godseeker. Just speed. Speed, speed, speed. I've got her at 57,000 HP. Defense at 3,300. Speed at 250. And then... Geomancer. I just have it in a reflex set. Try to get those burns as often as possible. And some perception, of course, because I need... The accuracy. So I've got 56,000 HP. I've got attack just 3,200. Uh, not much crit rate, not much crit damage. But yeah, we're just trying to get those uh, those burns out there. 
Accuracy at 317. That's why I need the Mithrala so bad. Um, because she's got the uh, accuracy in all battles by 80 aura. And if you happen to want to see the Masteries, like I said, they are not built exclusively for this dungeon. But I will show them to you real quick. You can uh, copy and paste if you want, or you can probably be smarter about Masteries than I am. And there's Geos. And that's it. So I really think that you know not everybody agrees but iron twins is super important to me because blessings are super important in this game and even if you can only get a one star blessing on your most important champs that's huge of course if you can get better that's awesome as you can see i am saving my soul stones right now i haven't paid for any of these I don't buy soul stones. I haven't bought anything in a long time, to be honest. But I'm saving because allegedly there's going to be a soul stone pulling tournament or event. I don't know. Hopefully that comes soon because I've been saving for, I don't know, two or three weeks or something. And uh, I've actually saved up quite a number of soul stones. So I'm kind of excited about hopefully being able to get something out of that. We'll see. But, uh,. That is the video, and I need to run the rest of my keys. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and I will catch you in the next Raid Shadow Legends video.